Here in Statland, a land filled with statistical references and numerical values, lies two famous families. One family, the Countryside Ranges, who live in Grafftown, contain brothers Mr. IQR and Mr. Range. The other family, the Egotistical Deviations, who live in Chart City, contain brothers Mr. Variance and Mr. Standard Deviation. Unfortunately, these two families do not have the best relations with each other, since they constantly fight over which of them is a better measure of variability, especially between these statistical brothers. The Statland Council held a meeting and decided that the dispute between the two families had to be settled today. Today, we shall settle this dispute once and for all. I, Judge Minnan, will look over this case, and we have the jury to be deciding factor for the dispute. Here in the jury, we have Mr. Normal, Ms. Scatter, Mr. Box, Mr. Histogram, Mr. Dot, and Ms. Number. Afternoon, I'm Range. Y'all could consider me the simplest measure of variability to calculate. All you have to do is max minus min. Howdy y'all, my name's Mr. Interquartile Range, but people just call me Mr. IQR. I'm the range at the middle 50% of scores in a distribution separated into four quartiles. Quartile 3 minus quartile 1 is me. Greetings, I am Mr. Variance. I show how close the scores in the distribution are to the middle of the distribution. You can find me through the sum of all values minus the sample mean squared divided by sample size. Hello, my name is Mr. Standard Deviation. Find me, you must take the square root of the variance. I'm usually a useful measure in a distribution that is normal or approximately normal. Okay, now that we have everyone introduced, it's time for the debate. Mr. IQR, the floor goes to you. Aw, thanks, Judge. Mr. Box here will give y'all a wonderful reason why I'm such an amazing use of variability. All right, thanks, Mr. IQR. Say, for example, we have an experiment involving the calculation of the distance launched of gummy bears. Given a five-number summary with a minimum of negative four feet, a first quartile of two, a median of four, a third quartile of 6, and a max of 10, we can calculate the IQR. We take the third quartile, located at the 75th percentile, and subtract the first quartile, located at the 25th percentile, which gives us the interquartile range. Using the IQR, we can calculate where outliers are located by checking if values exceed a distance of 1.5 IQR from either Q1 or Q3. In this example, the minimum of negative 4 is an outlier. So as you can see, IQR is a highly useful measurement with box plots. Okay, thank you Mr. IQR and Mr. Box. We will now give the floor to Mr. Variance. Quite smashing, Judge Meany. Ms. Numbers here will provide a brilliant example of my dashing variability. My pleasure, Mr. Variance. Say we are given a sample size of 5 weights of 5 randomly selected hippie hop rabbits. The weights are 5, 7, 9, 3, and 4 kilograms. To find the variance, we take the sum of difference in the measurement of a given weight by the sample mean squared divided by the sample size. For the data set, shown through the first part of the equation with a sample mean of 5.6, we take the measurement of a given weight, 5, and subtract the sample mean from it. We then square that value, 0.6, and divide it by the sample size, which is 5. We add up all this calculated value to get the variance, 4.64. As you can see, variance shows us how far the value are spread from the mean. As sample size increases, Variance decreases. Thank you, Mr. Variance and Ms. Number. Mr. Range, now you may take the floor. Alrighty, Judge. I invited my good friend Mr. Dot here to show you how good my variability is. We got you, Mr. Range. Range is a very simple calculation. Say we have a dot plot of the number of jelly blobbers caught in a day. 
If the minimum amount of jelly blubbers caught in a day is 3, and the maximum amount of jelly blubbers caught in a day is 8 for a random sample of 12 cartridges, we would subtract 3 from 8 to get the range of 5. This gives us a simple and good numerical value of the spread. Unfortunately, it includes outliers and can sometimes be unreliable. Thank you, Mr. Range and Mr. Dot. Finally, we give the floor to Mr. Standard Deviation. Finally, okay, Mr. Normal here will help me explain just how my variability works to all of you. Thanks, Mr. Standard Deviation. Say we are given a normal distribution of employee monthly salaries within the official stack company. In order to calculate the standard deviation, calculate the variance by summing up the difference of given employee monthly salaries to the sample mean $1,700 squared divided by the sample size 14. After that, just square root the calculated variance to get the standard deviation 590.227. Standard deviation is a great statistical way to measure deviations, but unfortunately they are only optimal for normal and approximately normal distributions. Thank you, Mr. Standard Deviation and Mr. Normal. Jury, please help us decide on which measurement of variability is the best. Unfortunately, none of the jury members could come to a clear consensus on which side was better. Mr. Box and Mr. Dot sided with the ranges while Mr. Normal and Miss Numbers held position with the deviations. The brothers, in outrage with no clear winner, started to fight going to extreme statistical measures while causing a ruckus within the court. Poor Miss Scatters, Mr. Histogram, and Judge Meany could do nothing to stop the crazy statistics. Someone help! I don't know what to do! I guess we will never know which side was the best measurement of variability. In the end, the fight turned into a full-out war between the deviations and the ranges. Destroying Statland, 